So our site currently looks like this, and obviously we want it to get looking like this onemillionminds.com site. The cool thing about Bootstrap is they give us some templates to get us started this way. So we've so far used this basic template, and right here it says start with this basic HTML template or modify these examples. So we're going to go down to those examples they're talking about, and you can see them all right here. You have the starter template, Bootstrap theme, grids, and they give you templates for all types of different situations. So um, if you're a photographer, you have this cover template right here. And you can put a picture in the background there. You know, you see a lot of sites with the, this carousel um, slider at the top here. Got a blog template right here. So, you know, it's, it's a positive in terms of, you know, if we want to build sites fast, we already have these templates to start with. So what we're going to do is find the template that looks most like our 1 million line site. It has a big picture area up here, nav bar, um, three columns here. And for me, the one that looks the most similar to that is this Jumbotron template right here. So I have this template, and we want to grab the code from it. So click on it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to view page source. And then this is the, all the HTML source for that document right there, for that page right there. So let's grab all this and copy it. All right, we're going to go back over to our Sublime, and we're going to replace this index document. So I just pasted right over it. Let's save it. Now let's go back to Google Chrome. Let's reload this page. Remember, this is our index document that we just changed. All right. And as we can tell, this does not look like this page, but yet we have the same HTML. So right now is a good time to talk about HTML versus CSS. HTML, as said before, is the structure of a site. So you can see, you know, it has the hello world. This is a template. Learn more. This heading right here is a little bit smaller than this hello world. It has some Latin here, view details. So let's go over to the HTML, um, index.html file, and you can see that. We have the biggest heading, hello world, H1 heading. Then you have paragraph. You have a link here. I'm sorry, you have a button there. Then you have an H2, and all these are H2, so you can see them looking the same. You can see all these paragraphs looking the same. And then you have these links. And HTML comes with some standard um, looks for each link, or for each tag, so H1 versus H2 and paragraphs, as you can see here. But yet, we don't have it connected to any styling. And the reason why is, if you remember, you connect to a style sheet up here in the head section. All right, so we have this style sheet here, and it has the wrong path to the style sheet. So before, um, we had it linked correctly um, in the last lesson, but here, basically what it's saying, and anytime you start, if you don't start it out with HTTP, then you're giving it a relative destination, a relative path from the current file you're in. So the current file we're in is the index.html file, as you can tell up here, and we're, it's in the first site folder, okay? Well, what this tells the computer or the browser right here, the two periods is to say, and then the backslash is to say, go back one folder. So if we were to exit the first site folder, then we're going back and we don't want that. And the way we have it structured, we'd be in the desktop. So basically, we want to eliminate both of these because we want to stay in the first site folder. Now what it's saying is in this first site folder, is there a DIST folder? Which, no, there's a CSS, there's a fonts, there's a JS, and then there's an index.html file. So we're going to eliminate DIST. All right, now it's saying look for a CSS folder. Well, we have a CSS folder here when we're in the first site folder. And then it's saying go into the CSS folder, so let's open it. And then we have a bootstrap.min.css file. Yes, we do. Perfect. So that's the correct path. And by the way, we're not really using um, 
any of these in this course, so you can delete all these. All right. So, have that saved. Now let's re reload our site. And perfect. Looks a lot more like this site, right? There is one difference. See the spacing up here when you're on this versus when you're on our page? And there's a reason for that. So, by the way, this right here is called a comment. And, you know, the left caret exclamation mark dash dash starts a comment. And then the dash dash right caret ends a comment. So everything in between there is, you know, what the comment is. And basically a comment just tells the computer to skip over it. And this is for human eyes only, this comment, to explain to yourself or maybe to another coder what you're doing right here. So what this is saying right here is this is custom styles for this template. So they created a jumbotron.css document that is going to be custom styles for that particular template. And this is how we edit Bootstrap. So this is all the standard Bootstrap stuff that comes with you know, any Bootstrap page. And then what we're going to do is create our own custom CSS file here to edit it to make it look the way we want to. So this is kind of cool. It's like picking from a buffet and we're like, hey, we like that part of the site. But well, we want to edit it, you know, and make it look a little bit different for ourselves. So let's go back over here, and I should have kept that view page source open. And let's look at their jumbotron.css file. So go ahead and click on that. And you can see this CSS document here. So we're going to go ahead and grab this, copy it, go back over to Sublime Text, and we're going to create a new file in the CSS folder because it's where all our CSS is. So new file, I'm going to paste this, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it as custom.css just so you can have it in your brain knowing um, what type of CSS here. This is us customizing the bootstrap CSS. So save it. Now we have to give it the right path to that custom.css. So once again, it's in the CSS folder and we're still in the index.html file. So we have to give it a path from index.html file to this custom.css folder. So we want it to look for the CSS folder, go into it, and looking for custom.css. Save it. Go over here, reload. All right, so now they're the exact same. That's awesome. Okay, so what do we learn in this lesson? Well, from this lesson, you now know how to grab any of these templates that you want and so that you can start with any of these templates and start creating your custom site immediately and get them up fast. Then you also learned how to correctly connect the CSS paths. And in that process, you got to see the difference between having no CSS on a site and it was just pure HTML with just text and everything lined up on the left looking very 1990s internet-like. And then finally, you learned how to create your own custom CSS file or any CSS file for that matter so that you can edit these templates to make a site look any way you'd like to. And next, we're gonna make our navbar up here look like the navbar here on the One Million Lines site.